Hello everyone, Karen Miller here. Today I'm going to do a very, very delicious dish for you guys. I have some kamut green here that I cooked. And the dish that I want to do for you is, it's a polenta, but in the Caribbean we call it cuckoo. I don't know why cornmeal cuckoo. We did it with cornmeal, but we don't eat cornmeal. We don't eat corn because corn is over 95% of the corn in the United States is genetically modified and even the organic corn I think it's suspect so this reminds me so much of corn the color and what it looks like when you cook it this is what it looks like when it's um, before you soak it this is what it looks like. You soak it overnight or you can soak it for at least three or four hours and then you cook it. So this is what it looks like after I coat it. And I have some bay leaf and some thyme here that I'm going to fish out at the end of this. So when I come back, I'm going to continue with this dish and tell you what I'm going to do. As you know how um, cornmeal has this pretty yellow color, so I really wanted to duplicate this. I'm gonna use some achiote oil that I have here that I soaked overnight in oil, the achiote seeds, and I have some turmeric here. This is what turmeric looks like. I'm going to, it has a look like uh, ginger, but it's not related to ginger. I'm going to peel it. This is what I do. And then I'm going to take my microplane and grate it. And I'm going to put this in my dish to give it this yellow color to duplicate that corn color. All right. So when I come back, we're going to go back to the stove and I'm going to continue with the recipe. So I'm back at the stove, guys. So this recipe would be on my website. But I have one cup of kamut and about 68 cups of water here to cook the kamut. I'm going to put a whole can of coconut milk. This is the coconut cream on the top. A whole can of this. This dish, we used to do it a lot when I was growing up as a child. It's um, with the cornmeal and the okra. I'm gonna put some okra in this. It's gonna be delicious. And I'm going to add another can of water. This is going to come to a boil. I'm going to remove the bay leaf and the thyme when it comes to a boil and then continue with the dish. So guys, this is bubbling here. It came to a boil. I'm going to remove the bay leaf. Definitely the bay leaf. I don't think I'm going to remove the thyme. And I am going to do some immersion blending. Before I do this immersion blended, I wanted to show you the kamut flour. I'm also going to add some kamut flour to this because remember I told you we, I am doing um, a version of what we say in the Caribbean cornmeal cuckoo which is polenta actually. The people from Barbados, they know this because that is their national dish, cornmeal cuckoo with flying fish. So this kamu flour, it is so fine that I wanted to add the kamu grain to give it some more texture. So this is what I'm doing. So I want to So I'm going to do this to break the, the grain up 
break it up a little bit and then I'm going to add the flour. So guys, I did the immersion blending and this is what it looks like. So the whole grain, the whole Kamut grain, it has, you know, dissolved a little bit and mashed up a little bit, you see? So this is perfect. So now because I'm putting the Kamut flour, which doesn't have a lot of texture to it because it's a very fine flour, this is going to add some texture. So when I come back, we're going to add some, uh, the turmeric and some other things, and then we're going to make our polenta or cuckoo. So I have my grated turmeric here that I'm going to add. And I'm going to add four tablespoons of my achiote oil. So this is going to give me that beautiful color that the corn has, but the kamut does not have. It has a light, kind of a creamish, pastel-y color, but I just wanted just a little bit more color. So you eat with your eyes first. Okay, I think, I think that's good. Yeah, this is looking good. This this color is looking really good. And it's nice and creamy. So the next thing I want to add is my okra. Because, I mean, we, we don't do cornmeal cuckoo in the islands without some okra. There has to be okra around in the mix. So when I come back, I'm gonna add the okra to right, this. guys, I'm back. We're going to add some salt to this. Sea salt and some pepper flakes. Okay. And I have some frozen okra here. Gonna add that in. I'm gonna add some more. Okay, so I added the okra to this, and now I want this to come to a boil, and then I'm going to add my kamut flour. So this has come to a boil. I'm now going to add my flour and stir it. I'm using the whisk because This is looking a lot like cornmeal. Because I don't want any lumps. This is why I'm using the, the whisk. So you get the idea. I'm going to add the rest of the flour to this. And then we're going to put it in our dish and put it in the oven. So I'm adding a bit more flour. And I have my spoon here, my wooden spoon. This is what my mom did it with. My wooden my spoon. mom did it with the wooden spoon. So this is a good consistency, guys. So I'm going to put it into my butter dish and put it into the oven. So I have my dish here. And I'm going to spoon this in. And you want to do the frozen okra. You don't want the okra to get mashed up in this because it's gonna be a hot mess. You see how this looks? It still looks green and it looks, it didn't get all soft. This is how you want it. So you want to put it frozen. So I'm going to put this in, smooth it out, put it in the oven. And then when it's done, I'll show you what it looks like. So guys, I just wanted to show you, after you dump this into the dish, it's going to look a little bit rough at the top. What you do is you take some oil or you take some butter and you, you smooth it out and it's going to smooth out like this. So it looks nice and smooth at the top. That's what you do, all right? So guys, I've removed this from the oven. This one, I'm not going to cut into this today. 
I'm going to let it sit overnight and it's going to get hard. And what my mom used to do, we would cut it and fry it the next day for breakfast or something, whatever. So this is still soft. So I covered this with some parchment and um, foil and baked it 350 degrees for half an hour. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna cut through this, this little one here. <clears throat> So the color is like corn. And I made some gravy here. This is going to be on the website, the recipe for this. I have some more okros here. I have some red bell peppers. I have some mushrooms and some other good stuff, guys, to dress this. So I need you guys to make this. It's still cold here. I'm going to really enjoy this tonight. Take care and see you guys in the next video.